NASA's Webb Space Telescope just found strange red dots that shouldn't exist. This detection was more than just another deep sky image. It exposed cracks in our understanding of how the early universe built galaxies and black holes. The little red dots, or LRDs, are tiny red-tinged sources seen by JWST that defy straightforward classification. The more we dig, the more they seem to demand a new kind of cosmic object, perhaps a black hole star. These mysterious red dots first emerged in JWST data released between 2022 and 2024. Astronomers, combing through the deepest images of the cosmic dawn, noticed compact red sources with properties that didn't quite fit the traditional portraits of galaxies or star clusters. Some looked far too mature, too dense, too luminous for their age. They were informally dubbed universe breakers, objects that seemed to violate the rules of formation that governed early cosmic structure. Originally, the simplest interpretation was that these are extremely compact early galaxies. But as observations piled up, anomalies grew too strong to ignore. The dots are very compact. Their apparent sizes are far smaller than typical early galaxies. Their light is reddened beyond simple expectations, suggesting either heavy dust or gas absorption. Some of them show broad emission lines, such as broadened Balmer lines, indicating fast-moving gas often tied to black hole activity, but simultaneously many lack the strong X-ray or radio emission one expects from active galactic nuclei. Moreover, these dots show surprisingly little variability over years of monitoring, unlike typical AGNs, which flicker or flare. When translated into mass and density estimates, assuming they host stars, the results are extreme, densities and masses that stress the limits of plausible formation models. The tension was clear. Either our assumptions about how early structures form were deeply flawed, or we were witnessing something entirely new. To account for the contradictions, some astronomers are reviving and refining a bold proposal. Perhaps some LRDs are not galaxies or clusters at all, but black hole stars. Giant stars whose cores collapse into black holes, but whose outer gas envelopes survive and radiate. In the black hole star model, the outer envelope glows because of energy supplied by accretion, the black hole at the center drawing material inward, heating the surrounding gas, which then radiates outward. Here's how the scenario might play out. A seed black hole forms in a dense region of gas, perhaps via direct collapse or rapid accretion in the early universe. Gas continues to fall in, forming a thick, optically dense envelope around the black hole. Radiation from accretion is largely absorbed or reprocessed by the envelope, which itself becomes luminous like a pseudo-stellar photosphere. High energy emissions, X-rays, gamma rays, may be heavily suppressed or absorbed by the dense gas, hiding the black hole's more violent signature. Because the envelope dominates the observed light, the object appears compact, red, luminous, and with spectral features possibly mimicking those of stars or galaxies rather than a conventional AGN. One of the most striking candidates for this interpretation is an object dubbed the Cliff, R-U-B-I-E-U-D-S-154183. Spectral analysis shows an extreme Balmer break, a sharp drop in intensity at the Balmer limit, that seems more consistent with absorption by dense gas than with a mature stellar population. That favors the idea that the glowing envelope, not stars, shapes what we see. A theoretical paper, Black Hole Envelopes in Little Red Dots, by Keto, develops this model further. They propose that a black hole embedded inside a massive, optically thick envelope can suppress outflows, which would otherwise blow the system apart. This enveloping gas regulates feedback, 
sustains accretion, and radiates at near the Eddington luminosity, the balance point where radiation pressure counters gravity, with photospheric temperatures in the range of about 5,000 to 7,000 Kelvin. That naturally produces red optical continua and the observed V-shaped spectral energy distributions. Thus, the black hole star scenario addresses many anomalies, compactness, red color, weak high energy signatures, low variability, and extreme inferred densities. While black hole stars are a very intriguing possibility, scientists are also exploring alternative or complementary explanations. Several recent theoretical and observational studies contribute to the debate. Some research suggests that LRDs are simpler AGNs, active black holes, cloaked in dense gas cocoons. Rusikov et al. proposed that some LRDs are young, low-mass AGNs wrapped in ionized gas. The broad emission lines may be broadened by electron scattering, and the intrinsic black hole masses might be lower than once thought, reducing tension with formation timelines. Low-spin dark matter halo hypothesis. Another idea is that LRDs form in rare, low-spin dark matter halos. In such halos, gas doesn't spread out into a disk, but collapses centrally, naturally creating compact, dense objects. Pacucci and Loeb propose that LRDs correspond to halos in the bottom about 1% of the spin distribution. This helps explain why LRDs are rare and why their structures are so compact. Gian et al. argue that LRDs may stem from direct collapse black holes, or DCBHs. In this model, massive metal-poor gas clouds collapse directly into black holes without first forming stars, seeding early SMBHs. Their simulations show that DCBH models better match many observed LRD properties, especially in the most extreme cases. Huang et al. 2024 even propose a scenario in which massive primordial black holes accreting sub-Eddington could explain LRDs without invoking super-Eddington or envelope models. A more conservative view holds that LRDs might just be extremely dusty, compact galaxies with unusually efficient star formation or heavy obscuration. Under this view, many of the anomalies, red color, compactness, suppressed X-rays, might be artifacts of dust, gas geometry, or selection bias. Why it matters If black hole stars or envelope-driven objects exist, or some LRDs indeed belong to such a class, the consequences for astrophysics and cosmology are profound. Solving the rapid growth problem. One big puzzle in cosmology is, how did supermassive black holes appear so early? Standard accretion of gas or merging of smaller black holes often seems too slow. A black hole star model gives a built-in high-efficiency growth mechanism. Reordering the Cosmic Timeline We tend to imagine galaxies forming first, then black holes growing inside them. But in this scenario, black holes might lead, growing inside gas cocoons before their stellar hosts catch up. A hidden phase of cosmic history. These objects could define a previously unrecognized, short-lived phase at cosmic dawn ones that lit up briefly and then evolved into more conventional galaxies or quasars. We might currently see only the rare survivors or the extreme cases. Constraints on dark matter and halo formation If LRDs are tied to low-spin halos or special collapse conditions, that places constraints on how dark matter structures grow how angular momentum is distributed, and the initial conditions of galaxy formation. Ties to multi-messenger astronomy. If some LRDs host binary black holes, future gravitational wave detectors, like LISA, might capture mergers from cosmic dawn, giving a multi-messenger bridge between light and gravitational ripples. 
impacts on early universe radiation and reionization. If black hole stars pump energy into their surroundings, they could influence how gas cooled, how ionizing photons escaped, and how the intergalactic medium changed in the young universe. What we expect next, tests, observations, and predictions. To confirm or refute the black hole star hypothesis, astronomers will pursue several key strategies. Multi-wavelength follow-up, Deep X-ray and radio observations might reveal hidden emission, jets, or scattered light. Infrared or sub-millimeter telescopes, ALMA, JWST, MID-IR, future missions, can probe dust, molecular gas, and envelope structure. High-resolution spectroscopy, detailed spectral lines, velocity profiles, absorption systems, and chemical signatures can reveal the structure and motion of gas around the core. Variability monitoring. Over years or decades, looking for subtle flickers or changes that might betray accretion dynamics behind the envelope. Larger sample surveys. More LRDs at different redshifts will help trace how their abundance changes over time. Do they disappear below certain redshifts? Do they morph? Spatial resolution and imaging. With powerful telescopes, ELT, GMT, TMT, or gravitational lensing, it may be possible to resolve envelopes, halos, or faint host galaxies around LRDs. Simulations and theoretical modeling. Cosmological simulations that incorporate black hole star physics, envelope dynamics, feedback, and gas physics will predict which regions and epochs are conducive to LRD formation. Gravitational wave prospects. If LRDs host binary black holes, future GW instruments might detect mergers, offering extraordinary confirmation or falsification of the model. One exciting observational anchor is Kappers LRD Z9, a little red dot, whose central black hole is among the earliest confirmed. Its properties suggest a black hole of about 38 million solar masses residing just 500 million years after the Big Bang. Its host shows distinct light patterns consistent with gas falling into a black hole, making it a key test object. Another is a Bell 2744 QSO1, a nearly naked black hole in an LRD class, with a very small or undetected stellar host, suggesting the black hole may have preceded the galaxy. This challenges our assumptions about cosmic order. In sum, we were reminded that the universe still has surprises. The little red dots, tiny, red, distant, anomalous, may be signs of physics, objects, and growth pathways we've never witnessed before. If even some of them are black hole stars, we will rewrite chapters of cosmic evolution, discovering new modes of black hole growth, new sequences of galaxy formation, and a hidden phase of the cosmic dawn. The hunt is just beginning, and the stakes are high.